simplestamping.com. I'm so glad you could join me for another video in the Flashcard 2.0 series. Guys, this card today, this Christmas card is gorgeous. These deep, rich tones, these deep colors. I absolutely loved this card. And what a great and fun use of the scallop tag topper. And I know a lot of you already have that punched. So let's get going with our Flashcard 2.0 today. All right, so to create our card, we're going to be using the Flashcard 2.0 system today. Now, let me go ahead and begin. My card base today is in Cherry Cobbler. I have that cut at eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter, so that will fit into one of our medium-sized envelopes. And then my Flashcard 2.0 pieces, I'm using Mossy Meadow and Very Vanilla. Now on my original card, I left the card very clean and simple. So for my sample today, I think I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. I'm going to bring in the stars embossing folder just to give it a little extra pep. So I'm gonna run that through my Big Shot. Yes, I really like that. That's just going to give it a little extra something. Not that I didn't like my plain one, but I thought I'd change it up just a little bit. Now, we're going to go ahead and start to work on our flashcard pieces. Let's start with uh, the Always Artichoke. I need to do just a little bit of cutting, so I'm going to bring in my stamp and trimmer. And we're going to cut this down to just a hair below two inches, all right? So just a little bit less than that. It's going to make my life easy. Save this piece. We're actually going to use that. And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to cut it to uh, two and a quarter inches. All right. So that we have one that's a little bit bigger. Now we're going to come in with the scallop tag topper punch. And we're going to give each of these a punch here at the top. And um, we're just gonna, let's go ahead and set these off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and do our stamping on our Very Vanilla. The stamps that I'm using today is called Lots of Joy. Love this, probably because it's very retro. I love all things retro. We're gonna be using the Merry Christmas and we're gonna be using this really fun plaid tree. I'm actually only gonna use one stamp set today and that is Chocolate Chip. Let me share with you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink up the tree and um, you're going to see that it's not going to fit onto that cardstock, but that's all right because we actually don't want the little stem or the trunk of the tree. Let me flip that over and then I'm going to stamp one more. Again, I'm not too concerned. I just want to make sure I have room up at the top so that when I punch, I can get a nice crisp uh, little um, corner up at the top. I'm now going to take the Merry Christmas and we're going to stamp that off to the side. Now we're going to bring in some more punches. We're going to start with the uh, decorative label. And let's go ahead and punch out our Merry Christmas. Now we're going to come in with the tree punch. And we're going to punch these trees. Now, one of them I'm going to want to try to get, you know, all the way up at the top. I do not want any of the uh, border showing. So when I punch it, I did kind of pull it up just a little bit, and I did that for a reason. Now, with the next one, I want this tree to be a little bit smaller. So I don't want it quite like that. Let's pull that up, and that's going to make that tree a little bit smaller. Before I punch it, I'm going to bring this one in. Can you see how much taller this one will be? That's what I'm going for. So let's give that one a punch. We're done here, and um, I do need to do one quick little trim. Guys, we just want to trim off any of that little vanilla that might be hanging out there just like this. Let's just go and cut that off. Perfect. Uh, now it looks like we are ready to put our card together. All right, it's time to adhere the uh, pieces of the Mossy Meadow onto our card. But I, before I do that, I've got about uh, 10 inches of our gold um, ribbon. Love this stuff. And so I'm actually going to use some Fast Fuse on this. And uh, the reason I'm using Fast Fuse is because I do have some embossing on here. And sometimes when you have embossing, uh, it just can be a little more difficult to get things to stick because you have less surface for it to stick to. Um, guys, I'm just going to run that ribbon through just so I'm not fighting with it later. And I'm simply, well, you know, it's going to want to stick back there. Let me do it this way. There we go. Okay, so we're going to adhere one to one side. Now let's go ahead and prep this other one. It's going to go on the opposite side. And before we adhere it down, 
let's take that other piece of ribbon and run it through and just make sure you've got those lined up that looks perfect again you know me I never press anything down till I'm happy I'm happy we can now just tie this into a bow all right there's my bow I can now trim down the tails a little bit great okay now comes the really easy part let's go ahead and take the tallest tree that we had we're gonna put it all the way at the bottom and all the way off to the side and now I have uh, the smaller tree I'm gonna have a stamp and dimensional on the back of that one and let's just bring it over a hair like so. I love those chocolate chip pines. Now my sentiment, I've got a couple Stampin' Dimensionals on that as well. And we can add that there. Now that looks really good, but I thought, well, it's me and it needed bling because you guys know I always need some bling. So I have some of our gold um, glimmer paper. I love the glimmer paper because it doesn't make a mess like glitter and very easy to work with. I just have really just a little piece of scrap there. And um, I'm gonna punch out three. All right, I've got that on a mini glue dot. We'll press one there, one at the top of that tree. And this last one, let's add just a little bit of bling there. That is a really quick card. Now there's my original. Here's mine with the um, embossing. I don't know, I think I really like taking that extra step and doing that embossing. Oh, whoa, well look at me, I forgot our little strip. Let's bring in that little strip that we cut off, remember that? Let me um, bring in, I'm gonna just use some two-way glue. If you've got our fine tip glue pen, I love that thing too, that thing's awesome. But you know what, this just happened to be handy, you know how it is. We use what's on the table, right? So let's add some two-way glue and we're just going to adhere that right down here at the bottom. I mean, hey, you know, we never waste anything. And since we cut it off, and it was just kind of sitting there, can't throw that away, but look, it really does. Just kind of dress that up just a little bit, doesn't it? Guys, there you go, that is a card in a flash. Love, love, love this card. I absolutely love the little bit of bling on there. Guys, that glimmer paper, you know, a little dab will do you. A little bit goes a long way. And boy, that was really the case on this card. Just a few little star punches and I was all set. I love this card. I hope you do too. And I hope it's one that you're going to be able to use in your Christmas card stamping this uh, holiday season. Now remember, if you'd like to get the supplies to create the card I created today, you can find it at simplysimplestamping.com. There's a little section there with all the supplies that I used. Just order the supplies that you need. It's right there. Click it and we'll have it shipped out to you right away. If you like the idea of flashcards to go, but you don't like to do cutting, I can help you there too. Flashcards to go, it's where I have everything cut, scored, prepped, the envelopes, it's all ready for you to get to the fun, creative part. You can find that at simplysimplestamping.com as well. Just look for uh, up in the pink menu bar, you'll see flashcards to go. You can get the color family that you want and you can be creating in no time. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of Flashcard 2.0. Have a terrific day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.